Namaskar. Mudras are used in meditation because they can direct the flow of energy in person's body. Holding a mudra can induce certain states of mind and consciousness. During meditation, mudras can enhance the intensity of person's practice by quietening the mind. Today, I am going to discuss three mudras for meditation. First, Jnana Mudra. This is the mudra of knowledge. A person is blessed with knowledge only if one's body is steady and mind is focused. This mudra stimulates pineal gland and improves the working of nervous system. Gyan mudra is helpful in conditions such as insomnia, depression, anxiety and diabetes. It is useful for stress release, drug addiction and anger management. It balances the water or air element in the body and it is good for those who strive to improve their memory, creative thinking and comprehensive ability. Gyan Mudra is usually held in meditation as well as in pranayam practice. It is believed to overcome negative energy and induce a peaceful state of mind. Now let us see how to hold this mudra. Sit in Pasmasan or any cross-legged meditative pose and see that your back is erect. Touch the tips of your thumb and tips of your index finger. Keep the other finger stretched out and place both the hands on your eyes. Close your eyes and bring your attention on breath. You may hold this mudra till you feel a sense of balance and peace. It is best to practice this Gyan Mudra during morning meditation preferably for 45 minutes. If you are a beginner or find it difficult to hold it for 45 minutes, you may do this mudra three times a day for 15 minutes. Jnana mudra increases air element in your body. So if you have flatulence or poor digestion, practice this mudra in moderation. Second mudra for meditation is Dhyana mudra. As its name suggests, this mudra is extensively used in meditation because it balances all the pancha tattva or five elements in nature. It is believed that it was practiced by Gautam Buddha when he attained enlightenment. Dhyana mudra quietens the mind by balancing the right and left lobes of the brain. It reduces negative emotions such as anger and worries. If practiced regularly, this mudra keeps a person physically and mentally healthy. Now let us see how to practice this Dhyana mudra. Sit comfortably in Sukhasan or Padmasan and keep your spine straight. Place your left hand in your lap with its palm facing upwards. Then place your right hand over the left hand with its palm facing up. Keep the fingers of both the hands stretched out. Now join thumb tips of both the hands together. Gently close your eyes and breathe comfortably. Hold this mudra for 15 to 45 minutes. This mudra should also be preferably performed in the morning. But if you have any limitation, you may perform it any other time in a day. Our next mudra is different from Jnana mudra and Dhyana mudra. It is Yoni mudra. Yoni Mudra is a unique psychophysical technique practiced at the Yoga Institute. This mudra replicates the feeling of being in a womb by withdrawal of all the sensory inputs. Yoni Mudra is beneficial to strengthen your nervous system as it provides the necessary pause required from the constant messages that your senses provide. In this way, it brings a distracted mind to attentiveness and provides clarity of thoughts. Now let us see how to hold the Yoni Mudra. Sit in Padmasana or any other meditative posture with your spine straight. Now close your eyes, place your thumb in the ear and rest the first finger on your eyelashes. Place the middle finger on the respective nostrils. The ring fingers are placed above the lips and the little finger below the lips. Ensure that your elbows are at shoulder level, parallel to the ground. And here, 
passively observe your breath. If your mind wanders to other thoughts, gently bring it back to the breath. It is best to practice Yoni Mudra for 5 to 10 minutes every day. When you practice this mudra regularly, you will develop a feeling of oneness with the universe. Many people in the world are recognizing the importance of meditation for physical and mental benefit. Meditation techniques cannot be explained in the textbook or manuals. They can be only experienced with a steady practice. So hold one of these mudras during practice to increase your energy level and to induce calm state of mind. With regular practice and dhyan sadhana, only a person will become better and better. His experience would be deeper and deeper and person would really feel blissful in life. Namaskar.